what 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 how did that how do we shift from being here to in the courtroom i'd rather walk in the light and keep tight look to the left and the right is a might i know we sound with the mediocre below average when i got the king in sight i know we sound with the mediocre below average when i got the king in sight what's going on good people family squad how y'all feeling out there great people so glad to be in the building got some great things for you today Day. Okay, guys, so I just want to give a brief, really, really, really quickly that I'm going to be shifting some content just a little bit. Still the same thing on my banner, but I'm not going to be going as hard in political content, but I will be talking about certain things in politics because the platform that I'm on, you really have to just move a different way and go back and check out some other content from other channels. We're also maybe talking about this and you'll see that when you have a voice and you speak out against many things, especially things that don't go with the grain and you want to late raise the level of awareness for your audience, your subscribers, then, you know, you have to move a certain way on the platform. And I'm going to say that. So with that being in mind, I am going to continue to do music. Of course, my music lifestyle, continue to promote God through my content. You already know that. But also, I want to tap into a little bit more about the youth. You know, I've been putting some things on the channel about them. I've, you know, shared about my background, my experience, my levels of expertise in the field of psychology. And I um, want to add more value, but also step my content up a notch in a way that I'm really being even more vocal than I am vocal now and really stinging you guys to make you really think for yourself, do your homework, but really open your mind to truths and not just what the world is trying to drill in your head. That's false truths. So let's go. Okay. Now with that, I have been following the story on Mikey Williams. Very, very talented young man. And I saw this come up in my feed and I'm like, okay, what's going on here? What has happened? I don't know if if many of you have been following it. If you are a, a youth advocator, if you, you know, work with kids, this may be something that has piqued your interest. So this young man's basketball skill, he is like a, a, a talent on the level of your Kobe's, your LeBron's, your, um, what's my guy's name? Steph Curry's. I mean, he is very, very talented. However, he's made a horrible mistake, a horrible mistake. And now his whole future could be gone in the blink of an eye. And that's what's the most disturbing. So let's just tap into this really quickly. Is it over? It's over. It says it's over. Mikey Williams just lost his career. So I hope that they are not sentencing him to prison. I'm hoping that that's not the case. Let's go. Mikey Williams is facing multiple charges tonight. Found several weapons inside Mikey Williams' home. Faces up to 28 years in prison. He said, we better get to stepping or we're going to leave with bullet holes. But this is the beginning <laughs> of the trial, Mikey. You are wild and this is not where you quote Rilo. Mikey Williams, the former basketball high school sensation, was looking at 28 years behind bars. But guess what? Forget 28 years behind bars because that's the least of his concerns now. If you're sitting there wondering, what the heck happened? Well, hold on tight, because the Mikey Williams story has just taken an unexpected twist. Williams was supposed to be on a trajectory to stardom, but now he's got a one-way ticket to uncertainty. Three new felony charges have been thrown onto his already hefty legal plate, and if convicted, it could mean way more than just game over for Mikey. So but wait, there's more to this twisty tale. The trial date is set with the new charges now being nine. As they say about trouble, it never comes alone. These three new charges involve accusations of threats to witnesses and a fresh victim added to the mix. Okay, so what one question for, that I have is how does a kid so talented and so, so gifted, he comes from a nice home. You know, when I looked at a couple of other videos, they showed his house. Nice, you know, smart even takes up for, you know, kids who are being bullied. I was, I listened to, to say, you know, he's not the one that's going to allow another kid to be bullied and he's standing around. So I'm just like, what, what happened? What are you listening to? What are you watching? Who's influencing you? Wh where did this come from? And how are your parents rearing you? Are they, did they give you a little bit too much freedom? Did they allow you to have a little bit too much flexibility because you were 
you know, showing um, a level of independency. You were bringing home the grades. You're on the court. You know, you're you, such a, a bright future ahead of you. You know, so that's my question. What, 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 how did that, how do we shift from being here to in the courtroom? Stay tuned because by the end of this video, you'll have the full scoop on what's happening with Mikey. Now, you might remember that Williams was scheduled to appear in court recently, and it seems like his legal woes are far from over. During a teleconference, Superior Court Judge Kathleen M. Lewis was ready to arraign him. However, there was one major problem. He wasn't present. Deputy District Attorney George Maudlin decided it was best to wait for Mikey to be in the courtroom before proceeding. So, Lewis ordered Williams to show up on Friday, October 27, 2023 for his arraignment. Now, the situation has taken a turn for the worse, as a judge has issued a stern order. No more social media posts about his impending trial. And what's the reason behind this order? It's all tied to what some are calling a threatening post. Williams posted a TV news clip from a preliminary hearing a few hours after a judge ruled that his case could proceed to trial. Alongside the clip, he dropped lyrics from rapper Rilo Rodriguez, say the judge and DA, messing with his head, just stay afloat. This is from the song, Ah, Never Be The Same. These lyrics, well, they're explicit, discussing shooting and killing with a chilling line, keep your mouth closed. And just to add fuel to the fire, he has since deleted the post. This post was deemed so serious that the deputy district attorney asked for Mikey's bail to be increased to a staggering $500,000. Maudlin believed that Mikey's choice of that song and its lyrics revealed a lot. This was especially important because it involved witness intimidation and tampering. But Judge Patricia Lewis, who presided over the arraignment, decided not to increase Mikey's bail. Instead, she dropped a bit of knowledge on the young Cooper. She said, I think it's an unwise decision, Mr. Williams, what you did, but I don't think it's a sufficient change of circumstances. I understand the argument, but I think that it was just a stupid thing that Mr. Williams did. Okay, I like that. A jury trial has been provisionally set to kick off on December 14th, and there's one glimmer of hope on the horizon. A member of Williams' camp has expressed their desire to see him back on the basketball court, possibly suiting up for the University of Memphis this season. But that seems impossible with all the attention on this high-profile case. His suspension from the Memphis Tigers has cast a massive cloud of uncertainty over his immediate future. Teams are notorious for being meticulous when it comes to players' backgrounds. They might think twice about adding him to the roster because of his high-profile case. Now, before you think it's all doom and gloom, remember this. Other athletes have walked this path before. Yes. They've weathered their legal storms, faced adversity head on, and gone on to have legendary careers. Right. It's all about Mikey's ability to bounce back, his unwavering commitment to change, and the support he surrounds himself with. That path won't be easy, though. Basketball future. Mikey Williams is now taking online classes at the University of Memphis for the fall semester. But here's the kicker he won't be hitting the hardwood until his legal issues are sorted out. And that makes sense. Absolutely not. Because what I want him to understand is that your behavior was totally inappropriate, totally uncalled for, uncalled for. And initially what they said was there was a young lady that came over to see one of his other friends, a teammate from the team. And he was a little agitated and bothered by it, I guess. Maybe he didn't want them there. However, Resolving to make threats and discuss things about a gun is not how you solve your problems. And what made you think it was okay in your mind to do so? And then what made you think that you weren't going to be consequent for it? That's the problem that I have. <clears throat> Our youth now wants, instead of talking about it, having a disagreement, or just talking about it, and even if you disagree with the other person, to be able to come to and to be able to settle the, the the problem verbally without using a weapon to resolve the issue is the problem that our youth are having today. They don't want to talk and, and disagree. They don't even want to fist fight. They are quick to pull out a gun, quick to pull out a knife, quick to pull out of some weapon that is that can hurt the other person or potentially kill them. That is the problem. So where is this mindset coming from? 
Well, we know where it's coming from. It's coming from our media. It's coming from the music. It's coming from television. It's coming from our society. We know where it's coming from. But who's in charge of that? The parents are. The parents are. You get them the phones. You allow them to sit there and watch these things. So, yes, the parents are responsible. Now, can we make the adjustment and shift? Yes, because once again, in this last video I did about those teen, those two young boys that killed the sheriff, I said the parents failed tremendously. So that the responsibility overall is on the parents. Yes, sir. I'm going to repeat that. Once again, the responsibility overall is on the parents. Nobody else is responsible for your offspring but you. Here's where things get a bit tricky. McCain, who was rocking a black Puma tracksuit and hat, stood his ground depends on the outcome of this trial. We're confident that we're going to come out on the top side. We're very confident. We're going through a process, and in the process, anything could happen. But we're very optimistic we'll be playing basketball. I hope. Puma era is done. Now, here's where things get a bit tricky. McCain, who was rocking a black Puma tracksuit and hat, stood his ground despite Puma's claim that their relationship with Mikey ended earlier this year. It's a head-scratcher because Williams was one of the pioneers of the name, image, and likeness era, locking in a groundbreaking deal with Puma back in 2021 for an undisclosed amount. Puma spokeswoman Melissa Garbayo recently confirmed that they cut ties with Mikey Williams. On3.com once estimated his name, image, and likeness valuation at a staggering $3.6 million. But here's the twist. He's nowhere to be seen in the latest rankings. Mm. Earlier this year, an endorsement with Lace Clips was swiftly revoked in wake of his arrest. Lace Clips president Jonathan Nussbaum made it clear. As reported by TMZ Sports, he said, He is not someone that will be associated with her brand going forward. Period. Now, for those of you who are just tuning in, I know you're wondering how we can go from a young star worth millions from endorsement contracts to this. Well, it all comes down to an unfortunate incident. Mikey Williams has legal troubles because of a shooting at his home in Jamul. Jamul is in eastern San Diego County. He's accused of firing shots at a car that had six people inside, not to mention making some very unsettling threats. At the preliminary hearing, Why? two teens whose identities remained undisclosed due to their status as minors revealed chilling accounts of how Mikey Williams threatened them. One of the young girls testified that Mikey told her, I will shoot you. You need to leave now if you don't want a bullet through your car and through your head. The girl revealed that she had come to Mikey's $1.2 million hilltop residence late on March 27th to visit her boyfriend, JJ Taylor. JJ was a teammate of Mikey at San Isidro High School. The tension escalated as Williams insisted they leave, then abruptly announced his intention to retrieve a gun, vanishing into another room. As the group of witnesses later recounted, Mikey re-emerged from his house holding a handgun equipped with a red targeting laser just as they were heading to the car. While no one testified that they saw him fire the weapon, they all confirmed that someone had indeed taken shots at their Tesla as they drove away. To emphasize this, Prosecutor Maudlin showed distressing photos of the car. The photos depicted bullet holes in the trunk and rear windshield. The so how did it go from them there visiting the friend to that level of, you know, anger, frustration? What, how, I don't understand that. There's a big disconnect here. What was the problem? Judge Sherry M. Thompson Taylor made a crucial call during the preliminary hearing. While no witnesses saw Mikey Williams pull the trigger, she believed there was enough evidence to push the case to trial. Now, in the latest episode of It Is What It Is, May shared his candid thoughts on Mikey Williams' Instagram post, a post that came ahead of his trial. May stated, It says, say the judge and DA f with his head, just stay afloat. So the song by Rilo was, I never be the same. Unwavering support. Memphis's head coach, Penny Hardaway, has been unwavering in his support for Williams ever since his arrest. Despite the ongoing Penny. legal turmoil, Penny continues to stand by his side. In his own words, I don't think it affects the program at all. I think this young man is, obviously, going through something. He hasn't been found guilty of anything, so we just have to continue to support him. I love that. And that's the lowdown on the latest of the Mikey Williams saga. It's a situation that's got us all holding our breath, waiting to see how it unfolds, and we'll be here to keep you updated every step of the way. 
Mikey's career hangs in the balance and the future of one of the game's most promising talents is at stake. Now, this is just the latest update and there's no shortage of twists and turns in this story. If you want the full scoop, be sure to hit play on the video titled It's Over, Mikey Williams Just Ruined His Career right here on our channel. Okay, good people. So once again, I don't, I haven't seen the parents who didn't see him in court, not to say they weren't there, and maybe they just aren't coming out talking, saying anything about this. You know, maybe they need to be, they've been instru instructed by their attorneys to keep their mouth closed versus giving, giving a statement, apologizing for, you know, the behavior of their son. So I, I'm just, what I would like to happen is that, you know, pray for, of course, praying for this young man to learn a valuable lesson about his stupid decision and horrible mistake that he's made. Whatever the situation is, whatever you didn't like, whatever the problem was, you should have talked to your boy about it versus getting a weapon, asking them to leave. Because it didn't say there was an altercation. It didn't say any of that. They got into an argument. It didn't say that. Whoever the was, whoever that was that came to visit, he didn't want them there for whatever reason, which was fine. We'll just ask them to leave. You don't have to pull out a gun. You're not... Oh, not one of these rappers who you hear talking about living that life or one of these people that's on the street that have lived that life. That's that's not the mindset you have. And you don't even want to portray that because the lifestyle that you're choosing to that you say you want to live is opposite to that lifestyle. So truly, I hope I really hope he is, is internally learning his lesson. I hope his parents are grilling him and also accept the responsibility for um, allowing even him to even have access to a weapon. Why does he even need to have access to a weapon? Why? So I hope that he's learned a very valuable lesson. And I like that Penny Hardaway is really, you know, giving him some grace and mercy. And also he saw how fast those endorsements got snatched. They want people who have great images and not when you start off one way and then you go another absolutely unacceptable so with these things that have, that have happened and how close his tail is on the line from going to jail I hope this is really saturating in his mind and it's going to penetrate his spirit to change his heart to never want to make a stupid decision like that again period and I hope his parents also have learned a valuable lesson that they need to step their game up when it comes to making sure their kid is, is understands and and is aware of how dangerous having a gun is and when not to use one when not to use all right guys let's get in the comment section I'm interested to know how you feel about this if any of you have been following the story you know what would you do if your kid was in this situation I don't have a kid yet. However, I really feel like taking those necessary, I'm very precautious by nature. I am the just in case girl. <laughs> Ask anybody who really knows me. I got an umbrella. If, it's, if I feel that my spirit is going to rain, just in case I got this. In my purse, I got this just in case. An extra coma, extra cough drop, just in case I got a sinus pill. Just, you know. So I'm the just in case girl. However, people will say, you don't know what you're going to do until you get in that situation. And I can agree with that 50% because I work with youth, because I have seen this time and time again. For me, I'm going to have these conversations with my kid earlier because I've been in education for a long time, because I understand how vital the, parent, the parental role is for pro-social development and how the conversation piece is one of the biggest things that families lack is that communication and the kid feeling comfortable enough to come and talk about these things. No, sir. We got to have these conversations and these dialogues with our kids about what's proper and what's not proper. If they don't like it and you feel uncomfortable, oh, well, you need to have it anyway because that's what's going to save your kid and your household. You feel me? All right, guys, love you. I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate all your support. Keep coming back. Love you guys. Self to make a change in your life for the better. Herb.